Good morning. Thanks for joining me. So today you're joining me for a special art project. You may recall that I told you earlier in the week that I would be telling you how to know when to use C, K, or CK when we were making the sound K. So that can be very confusing. There are three options for making so we're going to do an art project today, and if you keep this art project, it will serve you through first grade in remembering when you use C, when you use K, and when you use CK. I'm going to show you what the art project looks like when it's finished, and then we're going to do it together. So when it's finished, it'll look like this. You may notice there's a cat and a kite, and you'll notice, if you look closely, in red, you can see C and then K, C and then K. And then on the back, we're going to draw whatever this is, and at the end, you'll see CK. CK. All right, so to start with, you'll need a couple of things. You need a piece of paper. You need a black crayon and a red crayon. We're going to be starting with the red crayon. So get your white piece of paper and your red crayon, and we're going to start there. And I'll show you what we're going to do. First thing you'll do is, in the left side of your page, you're going to write C, pretty big, lowercase c, in red crayon. And you're going to write lowercase k on the other side in red crayon. So I've got C, a little bit of space, and then I've got K, all in red crayon. All right, so now I want you to pick up your black crayon, and I'm going to walk you through the steps. So I'm going to do something to my letter C, and then I'm going to get you to do the very same to yours. And if you remember, we're going to turn C into a cat. So let's think how we might do that. First thing I've done is I've closed that up so it looks like a face. So now I have a circle. So I took my black crayon and closed the C, but I can still see that red C in there. Then I drew two black triangles because we know that that's sort of the shape of a cat's ear. So we have two of them um, for the cat's ears. All right, now I'm going to add the cat's eyes. And I want you to look very closely at our cat's eyes. Look closely at those. Can you tell what I used to make the cat eyes? Yeah, it's lowercase a. So I put two lowercase a's for the cat's eyes. All right, now I'm going to write the cat I'm going to give our cat a nose and a couple of whiskers because that's how we kind of know it's a cat. So you see my nose and my whiskers? I bet you think my nose is a circle. It's not. My nose is a letter. So what letter is in the shape of a circle? Right. It's lowercase o. So I've got a for I and o for the nose. All right. Now I'm going to do the mouth. And I bet you can guess. I'm going to use another letter to make the mouth. Let's see if you can figure out what letter I'm using to make our cat's mouth. U. So we've got A, O, and U for our cat's mouth. Why would I use letters for the cat's face? Well, I'm going to tell you. Because if you hear these vowels, so these are all vowels, remember A, O, or U. If you hear that in the second sound of a word, short or long, it's going to start with C, and I'll give you some words in just a minute, and so you'll understand what I'm saying. So let's say, for example, cat. C -a. Oh, I hear short A. Yeah, the cat's got A's for eyes, so it has to start with C. C-A-T. C-A-T. Cat. I'm going to give you some words that will help you remember this. If your second sound is a vowel sound of A, O, or U, short or long, the word starts with letter C. All right, now let's move over to our K, and I'm going to turn it into something. And I'm going to see if you remember this from when we studied shapes at the beginning of the year. I took my K. Remember, K is one straight line down and two slanted. I put two more slanted lines on the other side to make a diamond shape. So I'm making a diamond. Do you remember something that we looked at when we looked at shapes that was diamond shape? Something that flies up in the air on a windy day. Now I want you to put a cross in the middle of your diamond. This is a kite. So we made K into the kite. 
into a kite. All right, now I'm going to add some letters to my kite. Let me see if I can rewrite this one so that you can see it just a little bit better. I'll kind of close that up. So let me see if I can do it a little bit neater. Teachers have to erase sometimes too. There we go. All right, now let's take a look at it. Can you see the two letters that I wrote? E and I. Why do I put E and I in our kite? Because if the second sound you hear in a word is short or long vowel E or I, it starts with K. The word starts with K. All right, so we're going to go back to our cat. So I want you to take your pencil and under your cat, I'm going to give you some words, and I want you to write these words under your cat. Give yourself some room so you have room to write. All right, the first word is cat. K -a -t. Watch me tap it. K -a -t. K Second sound is a. Oh my, I remember when I made that cat, if the second sound had a, short or long, it started with C. So we're going to spell it C-A-T, cat. All right, your next word is cot. See if you can turn cat into cot. C -a -t. Middle vowel is changing. C -a -t. Now it's c -a. Remember our hand signal? A -t. C -a -t. Cot. All right, now change cot into cut. C uh, t, cut. See if you can spell this word. Cone. C O N. What does making O say its name? What has to be at the end? Something is sneaking to the end of our word to make the vowel say its name. C O N. C O N. Cone. All right, next word is. Cake. K -a -k. K -a -k. Something is making A say its name. Don't forget to put that sneaky letter on the end. Next, you're going to write cap. K -a -p. Think about that second sound you're hearing. K -a -p. All right, then I want you to write these two letter sounds for me. These are a blend. All right, here we go. Here's your second blend. K O K O K K O K. When you finish, this is what it should look like. You should have written cat, C A T, cot, C O T, cut, C U T, cone, C O N E, cake, C A K E, cap. C-A-P. Here's your blend. C-R. Next blend, C-L. So, if I hear A-O or U is my second sound in a word, whether it's short or long vowel, it begins with C. The other thing is, if you hear those vowel sounds after a blend, cra or cla, it is always C-R and C-L. Always. With these vowel sounds. All right, now we're moving over to E and I under K. Your first word is kitten. It's two syllables. Let's put our hand on our chin. Kitten. All right, let's spell kit. K -i -i -t. K -i -t. Hmm. Next syllable. T -e -e -n. Kitten. Ten. Remember those two vowels that it's K, that K uh, precedes E and I. Short or long, K I. The short I kitten starts with K. All right. Next, I want you to write the word kid. K I D. Kid. I want you to write K I S. K I S. F L S and Z rule double double short vowel you see 
How many S's do you need at the end of that word? Think about it. All right, kiss. All right, now we're going to write the word key, K E. And I'll show you how to spell that because that's a little bit confusing. K E. You spell it phonetically and I'll help you with the rest of it. Next one is kettle. K E T. K E T. Toll. Kettle. All right. So we're going to have words right here. We're going to start kitten, K-I-T-T-E-N, kid, K-I-D, kiss, K-I-S-S, key, K-E-Y, and kettle, K-E-T-T-L-E. -E. All right. So if the second sound is short or long, E or I, use K. Use K. So if you look at this, you can figure out when you use C and K. But when you use C, K. All right, now I want you to draw this. What is this? This is the cat's tail. So I want you to write A, E, I, O, U along the cat's tail. And at the end of the tail, I want you to take your red crayon and write C, K. If you'll look closely, Remember our little smile sign for short vowels. So let's go over the short vowel sound. A, E, I, A, U. So if you hear those and then you hear K at the end of a word, you know to use C, K. Remember? C, K comes at the end of a word after a short vowel is heard. So this will help you if you remember that cat has A-O-U in its space. So if it begins with, if, if the second sound is short or long, A-O-U, the word begins with C. If the second sound is short or long, E or I, the word begins with K. If the word has a short vowel in it and it ends with K, then you need to write CK at the end of a word. So that, my friends, is a lesson in which letter to use when you hear this sound K. Hang on to this art project because it will help you in spelling um, as you begin to move through elementary school. Have a great day, and I know your cats and kites will look amazing. Thanks.